Welcome back to AP Pre-Calculus in under 3 minutes. No time for intros, let's get into it. Congratulations! This video right now symbolizes something special, the official halfway point of the course content on the AP exam. Lucky you! I want to take this time to congratulate you and ask you to subscribe to my other non-educational YouTube channel. So, inverse functions. These babies are weird, man. An inverse is typically notated like, instead of f of x being f to the negative 1 of x. To understand inverse functions, let's take the parent cubic function y equals x cubed. We know that the first three points on the graph would be 1 comma 1, 2 comma 8, and 3 comma 27. The inverse of this function would have these points, but simply swapping the x and y. To find the inverse function equation, you would take the original function, in this case y equals x cubed, and you swap the x and the y and solve for y, and that's the inverse function. For a function to have an inverse function, it must be 1 to 1, meaning each output value is produced by exactly one input value. And I don't think I can overstate the importance of that last line enough, because on the AP exam, you are guaranteed to be asked to explain why a function has or doesn't have an inverse, and this definition will give you full points. On a graph, you know a function is one-to-one -one if it passes the horizontal line test, where you put a horizontal line on the graph, and if it only intersects the graph once, it's one-to-one. -one. Any more times than one, and it's not one-to-one. -one. Last thing about inverse functions. The inverse function and the original function swap domain and ranges, so the original's domain becomes the inverse's range, and the original's range becomes the inverse's domain. On the screen, now are some AP style questions for this topic. And while you're answering the questions, might I inquire that you subscribe to my other channel that I have that I'll be posting non-educational content on. Oh, and answers up now. I will see you in the next one.